Loving it. How's it taste? Good. Okay. That's 76. Oh, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. I was scrolling on the internet the other day and I came across a video of a guy who seemed like he was on a date and once the bill came, he went... I was like, that is weird, but end of the day, it is Twitter until I read the title. Streamer invited a homeless woman on a date and dined and dashed on it for content. <laughs> yes, you read the title right. Invited the homeless woman on a date. The woman thinking, oh my God, it's one of those YouTube videos. They're going to invite me. They're going to give me $10,000. They're going to buy me a house. Holy shit, this is the best day ever. And the only thing she was left with was the bill and she ran away. I swear to God, any anything for content nowadays. I saw this streamer, if he goes, he puts a sign around his neck that says, uh, throw eggs at me, draws cucumber on his forehead, stands and let everyone make fun of him. That is peak content right there. Well, let's go. Let me show you the video. Okay, see, I never, I don't know how that, I ain't gonna lie, I don't know how that looks. How does it look? Like pale yellow? Chai, you ever seen pale? We, who from Netherlands? Uh, Divine Intelligence Divine Intel Intelligence Netherlands. Chai, do y'all know who that is? Okay, what do you do? I think he's a good addition for serving. He finishes health. Damn, uh, Mabel is really nice, bro. Loving it. How's it taste? Good? Okay. That's okay. Let's see what's up. What you looking at? Seventy-six. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. Okay. Um. I think I left my wallet in my car. Fuck. I'll be right back. All right. Yeah. Yeah. My name's uh, uh ATM Nari Nari Nari. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Just yeah. I don't know what that means, you're on a stream. Oh, I'm live streaming right now. Okay. <laughs> no. No. That was so funny, I want to run him over with my new bike. By the way, this is my new bike. Just in case you didn't know, I died and came back to life from all the laughter of this peak peak 2024 content. Now I'm gonna shatak you with some spoilers. This whole thing was scripted according to this guy's respond. The guy who goes by the name of Dum Dum Jeez. Yes, that is his username on kick. He's been banned for three days for this behavior. But I think the second he created that username, he should have been banned. Dum Dum Jeez. Oh my God, I wonder what things he's gonna do. Now before we get to the response video, which is absolutely hilarious, I need to give you a little bit of context about this whole thing. There's a streamer goes by the name of Sam Pepper. He used to do YouTube pranks, but just like every YouTuber prankster back in the day, he fell off and now he has dildos on his head. And now he also looks like he gets his cheeks shakalaka boom boom by the devil because he charitied his soul to the devil. And he moved to Kick when Kick just started up and he's been trying to get back on his feet on his virality, just like the old days. By, you know, doing challenges on stream, creating a whole competition, a whole context. He tries to think outside the box, but it is absolutely a failure with his other contest, Treasure Hunt, which has been absolute disaster and chaos. And it's his fault for having these type of ideas. And what do you expect from the people, the streamers on cake? Not all of them, but majority of them. One donkey plus another donkey equals come together Alpha Omega donkey. And this time the challenges that he has is just dare, giving dares to streamers to do. And whoever does the best one has a chance to win $50,000. Like this specific challenge over here. Be disgusting in public and embarrass yourself forever and ever and be a disappointment to your family. And then he dares another streamer to come lick the peanut butter off his uh, double D's. That's just the challenges. That's just how the content goes. And on one of his challenges, he posted six hours left to complete the first challenge. Find a stranger to go on a date. You need to stream for four hours to submit the clips. 
before the timer ends. So thanks to Sam Pepper's creativity and these streamers' talents, the internet was blessed with peak content. This is oh a God. trans okay, woman that he found. And my boy Dumb Dumb Donkey as well decided to jump on the talent for $50,000, took a homeless woman on a date, and just left her with the bill. And now this is the video of him clearing things up, his response video. What up, y'all, man? It's your boy Dumb Dumb G's, man. Yo, what's good, man? So basically, I'm here to clear up the air, bruh, for the clip that's been going viral, bruh, that I did for Sam Pepper's challenge was to find a date with a stranger, you feel me, and meet the stranger, and then just get a funny clip out of it, bruh, you feel me? So at the end of the day, bro, I did what I did, bruh, and now that I'm, so now that I'm already disqualified, I'm banned already because niggas took it out of context and took it to the extent, bro. You donkey, what was the context taken out of the context of the context? Now he admits that it was all scripted. Even if it was all scripted. People, okay, some knew, some didn't know. Even scripted or not, this is not funny content. This is wrong. Even if this situation was taken out of context, it is still wrong. There is no response to this because the whole idea of the content is just pure hairy jungly ass. Before stream, I talked to the female, I talked to the lady, which is Mabel. Cause if you could see, as you can see when I sparked my stream, I literally went right towards Mabel, bro. Like I seen her before I got dropped off, before I sparked my stream. I literally had the conversation about her, what we gonna do, you feel me? I gave her the money already beforehand, let her know what he was gonna do. That's why I said I was gonna leave her and come back for an hour if you watch the VOD, bro, you feel me, bro? But at the end of the day, bro, it it turned out bad, bro, you feel me? Because I, was gonna, I wasn't going to tell y'all I scripted it or it was scripted all the way until I won the challenge because at the end of the day, I didn't want Sam to see or say that I script when I say I scripted it for so I could get disqualified, you feel me? Long story short, it still ended up backlashing on me. I got disqualified and I got banned, you feel me? So, uh, but I get I, I get unbanned in three days, you feel me? So I'm gonna be sparking back up, bro. But that's just to clear the air, bro. Like, everybody back coming in my DMs and stuff, bro. At the end of the day, I'm a content creator too, bro. And I felt like that was the biggest marketing thing ever, bro, was to do that, bro. Yes, indeed, that was the biggest marketing because it did go viral. On the internet, the marketing for you to be so hated, you call yourself a content creator, this is not content. And I really want to know what was going through his head, even if he told everyone from the beginning that this whole thing was scripted. Going through with this whole thing, how did he expect people to react? I'll just explain it to you in one simple scenario. You see this Optimus Prime? Say hi, this is my cat Optimus Prime. I'm going to choke Optimus Prime so hard and he's gonna look like his eyes are going to come out of his head. And then I'm gonna be like, ha ha guys, wait, it's scripted. Optimus is a paid actor. Are you still gonna hate me? Absolutely fucking yes. Scripted or not, it's absolutely horrible and Kick decided to ban this donkey for three days after the video was posted Bijan Tehrani my fellow uh, countryman if you don't know who he is he's the co-founder of stay kick streaming and all this kick stake kick.com shit he posted said this pathetic and now banned streamer did this while trying to win a context for fifty thousand dollars I'm disappointed this happened on kick what do you expect to happen on kick Bijan and I've got fifty thousand dollars for this lady if anyone connects us the homeless woman's hopes and dreams weren't crushed in the first place as it was scripted she still got that hundred dollars to pay the bills I'm sure she got another hundred dollars to participate in this whole thing but it was her lucky day did she run into Mr. Beast? Nope, she ran into Bijan Tehrani. That's a W move from Bijan Tehrani, but he should have banned them for more than three days if he wanted to learn their lesson. Kick bans are just like you throw a prisoner in for like two weeks and you're like, did you learn your lesson for killing three people? They're like, yes, yes, I'm good. Then they go back in the wild and they just start killing more people. So all together now, East, West, Bijan is the best. Bijan, can you give me $50,000? I want to buy a Ford F-150 Raptor. He's too comfortable. He's too comfortable. He thinks it's his father's house. Well, actually, it is. But anyways, I just wanted to talk about this content creator who did the all this for content because he's a creative content creator. 
absolute donkey he got what he deserved but he needs to change his username as soon as possible or else he's gonna relapse into doing dumb shit like this again scripted or not it is not funny it is not entertaining and it is not okay to do this shit but anyway i just wanted to talk about this let me know your thoughts in the comments below i hope that food was delicious how do i know you were eating i just know shit i know how's that coffee was that coffee good i i'm just saying I'm, i know shit just like subscription if you're new here take it easy i'll see you at the next one